Well, hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alice. I go by Hello Alice here on YouTube and I make art videos. And today I am bringing you guys my contribution to the YouTube Artist Collective theme this I want to say I always want to say month, but it's like every 2 months this time around this theme. Anyway, the theme for this time around was Zodiac which is such a cool theme. I was really hoping it would win, so I was really excited when it did win, just because I think it really gives you so much room for creativity and to draw like these really mystical, cool things. And so I really tried to push myself and kind of be more creative, do an actual like full piece with like a background. And like, I, I tend to just draw like heads and busts and things like that. And I actually drew like a full person. So I decided to do Cancer, um, the zodiac sign Cancer, because that's what I am. I'm a Cancer. I was born July 12th, um, which puts me right towards the end there. I think it's like June 22nd to July 22nd around there. And I, I don't really like believe in the zodiac, I guess, like all of the characteristics that each zodiac is supposed to have. Like I think most people can identify with like at least a couple characteristics from every single one. Like I think people kind of see what they want to see. Um, but I do think that it's really cool. Like I think it's a really cool concept. Um, and I think it's really, really interesting. So when I was doing research into cancer and like the star sign cancer and how that all came about to be, it was basically based off of this crab. And I totally don't remember the crab's name. It was like K something, but it was in Greek mythology. And basically it was this crab and it tried to like attack Hercules, I guess, while Hercules was doing something um, on orders from Hera, because uh, like Hera hated Hercules, right? And uh, the crab died. Uh, Hercules, I think, like stepped on him or something because it's a crab like Hera. What are you doing? Why are you sending a crab to do your dirty work for you? Like, you're a goddess. Pretty sure you could probably do more than like a crab. Maybe you should check yourself, Hera. I don't know. But anyway, to reward the crab who had gotten stepped on in the line of duty, um, Hera put the crab in the sky and he became the constellation. So that is the story, um, Aliceified of Cancer, the star sign Cancer. And some other research about Cancer, the like um, planet is the moon. So I really wanted to incorporate the moon in here and the night sky. So for this piece, I took the zodiac, like this zodiac circle, and I kind of figured out how I wanted it to be. And I rotated it so that the sign for Cancer was at the top. And then I put the moon in the center of the zodiac circle. And then around, you have all of the symbols for the zodiac, but I also have all of the constellations that apply to each of the like zodiacs. Um, cause I really wanted to play on the moon and the night sky. And then going along with that, I wanted to kind of have a color scheme of like green and purple and blue. So I actually chose to do a blue green crab. I did some research, like I, I was looking at different types of crabs and there was this one really, really cool blue one that I thought was so pretty. So I was really inspired by that. And then I decided to add in pops of gold, which you'll see me do a little bit later, but everything that right now is this kind of cream color that's masking fluid and I use masking fluid to mask everything out and then at the end I put gold over where that masking fluid was and I also really wanted to have kind of an Art Nouveau inspired look it's not perfectly Art Nouveau but I thought with the zodiac circle like right in the center it looked very Art Nouveau-ish so I decided to do these stylized waves uh, interlapping in this giant crab that she's sort of riding on like a chariot um, and then I added this border and up in the top corners there is another crab motif in the corners of the border and then additionally I also I gave her a tattoo on her leg in uh, I put it in a light gold color towards the end you'll see and that is also the constellation for the star sign cancer and then she's holding this staff that also has the symbol for cancer on it just like rotated sidewards so yeah that was kind of how I went about personifying the star sign and it was really fun like this was a really cool piece I, I thought to work on um, I feel like I really really pushed myself and let me tell you guys it is 3 30 in the morning on Friday like I procrast well part of it was procrastination and part of it was just bad luck but it was mostly procrastination and bad timing and 
I was really nervous and but I didn't want to phone it in like I was nervous about getting it done but I didn't want to phone it in I didn't want to just like throw something together like I really wanted it to look good and to be a piece that I was really really proud of so I actually spent probably I think about 20 hours on this uh, on and off it took me quite a bit of time to complete which is one of the reasons that I'm running so close to the deadline <laughs> I have to go to work in like four or five hours so that'll be fun <laughs> but hopefully you guys like this video and like this piece um, but yeah, I, I was really excited to work with some more details and I really need to start doing more like finished illustrations with backgrounds and thinking about the composition and thinking about the story and that's something I really want to start doing more, especially on my channel. So uh, look for more of that from me. And right now I am putting in the gold like I was telling you guys before. I, if you haven't noticed, I'm a little bit obsessed with these fine tech watercolor gold like watercolors. I got them for, I'm not sure they're watercolors or inks, but whatever. I got them for my birthday. I've been seeing all the other YouTube artists use them and I was just like, I want them. They're so shiny. Um, so I got them for my birthday and they are so pretty. Like they're so opaque and they dry to this like almost foiled looking finish. Like it really does look like I've gilded the piece. It makes me so happy. I just want to stare at it. Like I love the shiny. It's great. Um, that's like my favorite part about this. So yeah, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else to say about the actual artwork itself. For the moon in the center, um, I created the texture to start by using the technique that my mom actually showed me, which is where I dampened the paper and then I dropped masking fluid into the wet uh, like onto the wet paper and let it dry and that actually made a really good moon texture i had to go and add to it a little bit but that was a really really good starting point so um if you guys haven't tried that technique out it's a really really cool technique and it can yield some really nice results i would definitely recommend trying it so towards the end of this you're going to see me go in with my colored pencils this is a technique i use a lot um i use it in almost all of my pieces actually and one of the reasons that I like to do it is because I really like the contrast of the more opaque kind of colored pencil on top of the translucent watercolor. I think it adds dimension to the piece as well as like texture and interest. Um, and it's also really great for covering up mistakes. If you guys didn't notice, I made some pretty big mistakes in the hands. So I used colored pencil to try to smooth out some of those mistakes. I think it worked out pretty good. <laughs> um, and I, I really do enjoy using the colored pencil on top of the watercolor. It's probably one of my favorite techniques. Um, I used it pretty sparingly in this piece, but yeah, I'm happy with how it came out. So uh, go ahead down below and let me know what star sign you are, if you believe in the zodiac, if you think it is just for fun, or if you think it does have meaning. Do you feel like you identify with your star sign? Um, I do feel like I fit a lot of the characteristics of being a cancer I know one of them is being like empathetic but at the same time I'm not sure if I think it's because I'm a cancer I don't know but let me know what your star sign is whether you feel like you fit it and if you believe in the zodiac down below I would love to hear your opinions and make sure you go check out all the other amazing artists in the YouTube artist collective there are I believe 13 of us now and we create a piece every two months that is based on the theme that you guys vote for over on our Facebook page. It is so much fun and it's great to be able to kind of do something that you guys want to see. And seriously, the other ladies in this uh, collective are some of the most phenomenal people I've ever met. They are amazingly talented artists and you should definitely, definitely go check out their channel. We all did different Zodiacs. It's going to be really cool. I've already seen some of what they've been doing and I'm literally like blown away by some of this stuff like I seriously think this is probably going to be our best collective yet because the quality level is just it's high you guys also in the YouTube artist collective we do put all of our work for sale for each collective theme so this is going to be for sale over on my Etsy store I will link that down below so if you would like to own this piece of original artwork uh, you can go buy it <laughs> 
Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this video. So uh, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified with the YouTube things. Um, and if you really like me and you wanna subscribe, then that's great. You'll be part of the Wonderland fam. We make art, we eat pizza. It's a good time. So yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. And as always, have a great rest of your day. Bye guys.